friends welcome to my workplace at Ranaghat West Bengal India in this video we are going to watch implantation of a posterior iris claw intraocular lens which is a PMM lens the capsular bag has come off while aspirating cortex after nucleus management in this case but the anterior vitreous phase is intact and now we are going to manage this case with the help of uh, iris claw intraocular lens conjunctival peritomy and bipolar weight field cautery have been done and now uh, sclerocorneal tunnel is being prepared with the help of this crescent blade since the iris claw lens is a rigid lens we need a incision of about 6 millimeter so a 6 millimeter sclerocorneal tunnel is being prepared and now this is for enclavation of the haptics this is a side port at nine o'clock and this is a side port at three o'clock these side ports are behind the limbus onto the sclera and now I'm aspirating the cortex gently with the help of this Simco cannula and fortunately the anterior vitreous phase is still intact and there is no vitreous loss there is no vitreous prolapse into the anterior chamber and now after aspirating cortex I'm going to remove the capsular bag here it comes capsular bag has been removed with the help of these forceps now an air bubble is injected and then pilocarpine is instilled pilocarpine is administered into the anterior chamber over the iris and the people starts constricting and now Visco is injected into the anterior chamber. The air bubble is replaced by Visco. It is done very gently and still the anterior vitreous phase is intact. And now the sclerocorneal tunnel is opened by this time the assistant is ready with the lens the tunnel is completed and this is the lens and this is examining the gap in the haptic for enclavation and here goes the lens in the anterior chamber it has to go this way then you just rotate the lens and place it horizontally I'm using the main wound of the FECO for manipulation of the intraocular lens this incision being in the anterior part it is easy to do these maneuvers now the lens has been placed horizontally and uh, I always do the difficult job first difficult job is to hold the lens with the non-dominant hand and I am doing that so I have hold the lens with my left hand and enclaving the haptic at 9 o'clock it is done 
inject some more visco because the anterior chamber has become shallow by this time and now I hold the lens with my dominant hand and get more control and here it goes and cleave the haptic at 3 o'clock it is done and now the visco is removed from the anterior chamber there is no vitreous disturbance so we don't need to do anterior vitrectomy in this case and I'm going to do a peripheral iridectomy with the help of a 23G vitrectomy cutter and it is done and you can see air bubble coming out from posterior chamber anteriorly through the PI and now this is a single suture at the wound this is just for a position of the wound and this suture is not a tight suture it is just to oppose the wound margins the threads are trimmed near the knot and then the knot is buried in the scleral tissue and then two anchoring sutures are placed on either side of the peritomy and this is the final lavage of the anterior chamber there is no vitreous disturbance the chamber is formed and now the last step is this injecting a bit of moxifloxacin and the antechamber is nicely formed after removing the speculum I advance the conjunctiva to the limbus and conclude the case Thank you very much for your attention. Hope this video will help you in managing such cases.